The EEM 8.5 web application introduces a completely new modern user experience. In addition to its greater ease of use and efficiency, the newest EEM web application is more accessible for people with disabilities. This video focuses on the importance of making EEM accessible to everyone and how NICE has engineered significant accessibility advancements within the EEM web application. With our new focus in version 8.5, the EEM web application becomes more accessible and inclusive to all users. In this video, we'll discuss what accessibility is, who it's for, why it's important, and how to use the built-in accessibility features of the EEM 8.5 web application. Broadly speaking, accessibility refers to how technology is built to accommodate users with visual, motor, hearing, and cognitive disabilities. Accessibility features also accommodate people with temporary disabilities, situational constraints, and chronic disabilities. Designing for accessibility required us to consider how disabilities could limit a user's ability to access or interact with EEM content. In the NICE EEM web application, information and interaction options are provided through a graphical user interface. This means EEM accessibility features are focused on helping users with visual or motor disabilities navigate content, including scrolling, swiping, selecting from dropdowns, and more. We've designed EEM to meet accessibility standards for three categories of visual disabilities color blindness, low vision, and blindness. It's also more usable by anyone with limited motor skills caused by arthritis, tremors, or other motor-related conditions. Let's take a brief tour to learn how the EEM 8.5 web application supports people with disabilities through the use of purpose-built assistive technology. We'll start by logging into the EEM agent web application. Let's take a look at how EEM handles color blindness. The user interface uses visual cues, so it's not dependent on color alone to convey information to users. The difference in the light background shading of my schedule and not scheduled, for instance, is evident to people with color blindness. This shading is consistent across the user interface and provides discernible contrast with content in other shades. In addition, EEM's icons are distinguished by both color and form. On the Agent Preferences page, for example, users can set their schedule and communication preferences using familiar thumbs up and thumbs down icons. Users don't need to be able to determine what color they are to understand their distinct meanings. Now let's focus on how EEM supports users with low vision, specifically those who need content on their screen to be enlarged. Users can magnify screens up to 200% without loss of content or functionality. What's more, once you enlarge a page, the change is automatically applied across the EEM web application. As you move through actions, like making schedule adjustments, the content changes with each selection, but stays organized and selectable at the selected magnification. Here's another example of a commonly used EEM screen the Request Absence form. It's just as easily viewed and used when the page is zoomed to 200%. Now that we've talked about how EEM's accessibility features support users with color blindness and users with low vision, let's dive into EEM's purpose-built features for users who are blind. To make the standard user interface more inclusive, the EEM web application includes two main assistive technologies keyboard navigation, and optimization of each web page for use with screen readers. Let's look at keyboard navigation. Designated keystrokes replace mouse clicks and movement, allowing the user to navigate through interactive elements, such as buttons, drop-down lists, complex menus, sliders, dialogues, etc. While this is a critical feature for users who are blind, Many people with motor disabilities also depend on the logical and intuitive EEM keyboard navigation. Users can use their keyboard, even if it's in Braille, to navigate around the web app for information and to take action. 
The selection of items on the page changes as we use various keyboard commands to move around the page. Users may already be familiar with common accessibility keyboard commands used across many applications. But a quick reference guide of default keyboard commands is available in the NICE EEM user documentation. Note that if you use a screen reader, it may have its own overriding keystrokes. And this brings us to EEM's optimization for text-to-speech screen readers. This functionality enables users who are blind to understand what's on the screen so they can select actions accordingly, thanks to informative audio cues. To ensure users navigate content accurately, EEM's on-screen elements include audio tags, providing necessary information beyond the visible text, such as color cues, the grouping of buttons, and other meaningful information. For optimal efficiency, EEM instructs the screen reader, by default, to move through the page in a logical order, while also allowing the user to easily navigate content on the screen in the order the user prefers. Here's how it sounds. Schedule adjustment off on. Toggle list section. Swap is available toggle button not pressed row 24. For those unfamiliar with how screen readers work, here's a glimpse behind the curtain. This is the speech viewer that guides the screen reader. As you can see, the software is reading any labels or elements which have been appropriately tagged on the back end so it can describe the content type and state to the user. To enable screen reading functionality, you'll need a third-party screen reader application. Let's look at the popular NVDA application, which is free to download and install. You can adjust your screen reader preferences to customize the UX, including the voice used, reading speed, and more. All the languages supported by EEM can be read by commonly available screen readers. Once the screen reader is turned on, EEM is optimized to work with it, from the time you log in to the time you log out. EEM's accessibility features are built according to the WCAG 2.0 guidelines, the global standard for web accessibility published by the World Wide Web Consortium. As a result, they are also in line with best practices or regulations in the US, Canada, Europe, and Australia. At NICE, we're committed to making the EEM web application accessible to people with disabilities. In our ongoing effort to ensure EEM meets the needs of as many users as possible, we're designing apps that empower organizations to create exceptional experiences. NICE EEM, self-scheduling anytime, from anywhere, and for everyone.